The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 27. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rochah Kodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And the Rochah Kodash is the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Truth. Double honors of the Apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. So, um, just wanted to do a lesson, okay, uh, which was uh, inspired by this uh, video, all right, that the uh, brother did, GMS Upon Precepts, um, about this guy right here, okay, who uh, the uh, <laughs> the artist formerly known as uh, Atazawam, Atazawamia, I believe that's his, that's his actual, or was his Hebrew name, all right, um, his page was uh, Malak Shar, and it's uh, you know, just not not going in on him specifically because he's already through. You know, he's a he's a through a, uh, a through a light. You know, and, and really, you know, I don't have really a title for this lesson, but it just you know goes in. It's going into uh, these Israelites that do not bear their cross, do not you know uh, continue in 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 the. Uh, in the path of righteousness, do not continue to, you know, uh, fight the good fight of faith. Faith, you know, they become through lights. All right, you go from being an Israelite to a through light, and as you can clearly see, that this guy is is through, man. He's he's done. You know, he's done. You know, uh, the scriptures tells you that judgments is uh, prepared for for scorners. Okay, and 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 that's what a lot of uh, men, you know, that were in his truth and they fall out. They become, you know, scoffers and scorners, okay. And there's really no reason to go back and forth with them, you know. There's really no, there's not going to be, you know, the edification, of course, will will come from, you know, will go to the uh, the the ones who are listening. But it's not really for you trying to, you know, gain say. I mean, I said like you're trying to convince this person that they're they're off, okay, because. At a certain point, as the scriptures tells you, you know, you admonish, you know, uh, a brother one or two times, and then afterwards you just, you know, let him go his way, man. And ultimately, you just, uh, uh, you know, let let whatever the Lord's uh, will is going to be, <laughs> that will is going to be done, you know. And, and you see by the spirit that a person is in, and how they continue to wax worse and worse, that they're just given, they're just given unto Satan at that point. As uh, Paul said about uh, Hemonias and Alexander, that he gave them he gave them unto Satan, so that they will uh, uh, learn not to blaspheme anymore. You see, but going back to this right here, where Yahweh Shah said, I will read this again. It says, "And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple." Because, like I said, he's just an example, but there's plenty of examples of men, all right, that are like him. Okay, just like how you have. Examples on the right hand side of, of you know, as the scripture says, Mark the perfect man. Okay, you know, starting with, you know, the, the elders, all right, uh, that we've learned from, all right, uh, of, of Great Millstone, okay, and other brothers and elder brothers that continue to fight the good fight, okay, those are men that are examples on, uh, the, you know, of course, you got the men of old in, in, the, in the scriptures, okay, we read about the prophets of old, all right, they have, they have gained a good report. You also have men on the, on the left hand side. You have examples on the left hand side, and those examples, just like on the right hand side, you use those examples to edify. You can also use the examples on the left hand side to edify, because all things are to the edification of the church. Okay, and this is why Yahweh Shai has was speaking about people, all right, that don't bear their cross and don't come after Yahweh Shai with the whole heart. They ultimately cannot be the be a disciple in 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 Ultimately, they're not a part of the elect. Okay, they're not going to be delivered. All right, and um, a lot of the times, uh, men don't, you know, uh, continue in the faith, is because they don't take rebuke, and they can't endure the chast the chastisement of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which oftentimes, you know, comes in a form of being rebuked by, you know, a, another man uh, uh, of wisdom. All right, and there's plenty of different ways that the Lord can uh, chastise you. 
you know, it could be, you know, infirm infirmities, all right? It could be actual, you know, uh, uh, rebuke, okay, reproof, reproof, you know, uh, 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 you know, financial issues. The Lord can chastise you plenty of ways, man. All right, and I'll just get that real quick because as it says here, what Peter was, uh, Salakia, Paul was saying about the chastisement of the, of, of the Lord, uh, um, Hebrews chapter 12, verse uh, 5, it says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastise, chasten, chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. All right? So this was an actual, you know, this right here is actually a uh, a uh, scripture, I believe. I want to say it's in, a, it's in either Psalms or in Proverbs, okay? And this is something that you cannot forget, okay? You can't forget the exhortation of knowing that when you're in this truth, you're going to receive chastisement. Okay, you're going to receive, and let's go into this word chast chastening, okay, which ultimately comes from the Lord. So the Greek word, let's see what it says. Strong's G, 3809, Paidaia, Paidaia. All right, Paidaia, all right, it says, the whole training and education of children, which relates to the cultivation of the mind and morals, and employs for this purpose now commands and admonishments, now reproof. And punishment it also includes the training and care of the body all right because we are a part of the body of Yahweh Shai and in order to be a part of the body of Yahweh Shai you, you got to be trained all right the scriptures told you train up a child in a way that he should go now that could be taken twofold all right that can be you know obviously he's talking about a, a literal child you know you, you want to train up your child in a proper way that's why the scriptures tells you in the book of Deuteronomy that it, it was a law that we we're supposed to sit down and uh, uh you know tell our children about the about the co the commandments all right tell our children about the statutes and the laws and the judgments of yahweh bashim yahweh shot all right but ultimately also you know in a spiritual sense when we come into this truth we come into this truth as newborn babes we come into this truth as children all right and we're supposed to be trained you know and that's why the, the your, your tutor or your master okay your teacher you know starting of course with yahweh shot and then the the the, the men that uh, uh, you know our, our elders they teach us in the correct way. You see, you you get taught in that correct way, and you're supposed to stay in that correct way so that you have care for the the whole body of Yahweh Shai would be you know uh, perfect. All right, now I'm gonna keep going. It says um, whatever in adults also cultivates the soul, especially by correcting mistakes and curbing passions. All right. It says instruction, which aims at increasing virtue. All right. See, that's the thing about being uh, chastised. You have to understand what the purpose of the chastisement is, because it's not always going to, you know, uh, um, it's not going to feel good. All right. You being chastised, you're not going to be like, hey, yay, I love being rebuked. I love being no. OK, but if you are a person of wisdom, a person of knowledge, a person of understanding you in the spiritual. OK, first and foremost, you would know that this is instruction aiming at increasing your virtues okay increasing your the your uh for your betterment all right um this right here says chastisement chastening of the evils which which uh, uh the most high visits men for their admin amendment yeah because guess what you getting rebuked all right because the word evil means a bad time right you getting rebuked, all right? And sometimes you might get rebuked for things that you didn't even do. So in that moment, it's an, it feels, all right, uh, like an evil time. It's a bad time. Because once again, it, it no, I, actually, I go to the scripture, all right? When you're getting rebuked, you're getting cursed out, all right? You're getting uh, uh, corrected, all right? If you go off, you're getting corrected. And to you personally, it's like a bad time, right? It's like a bad time. But ultimately, when you're spiritual and you understand what's going on, you should know that this is really for your betterment, all right? It's really for you to be increased. Because it says, uh, I jump right um, to, where is it? Yeah, verse 11, 12 and 11. I'll go back and read a couple other other scriptures. But it says, now no chastising for the present seem, seems to be joyous, you see? But grievous. It's an, it, When you're getting chastised, it's a grievous time, a.k.a. it's an evil time. 
It's not joyous in the present. It's an evil time to you. Okay. But the thing is with a lot of people, they take that evil time and then they become evil. They get engulfed in that time and they, and they start to make excuses. They start to, uh, 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 harden their neck in the time of the, of the grievousness instead of taking it cheerfully. Well, it's not really going to be cheerful, but taking it and, and understanding why, you know, it's happening. All right. Getting the lesson out of it. That's the thing. So it says, nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruits of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. You see, because just like working out, when you're working out, right, and you're in the gym, and you're, you know, lifting weights or whatever, that present moment to you is a bad time because you're feeling the strain of lifting weights. You know, that's why when people lift weights, you know, you hear them, uh, uh, you know, grunt, you know, you hear them, ah, you know, they get up, whatever, have to walk it off because they just went through an evil time. But it's not the, it's, it's what is going to be the product of that evil time that they're working towards. And that's what you have to understand about chastisement and rebuke. A lot of men fall out like this guy, you know, and it's not, this is not why he fell out. This was just the reason the Lord used, all right? Ultimately, men fall out because as Yahweh Shah said, many are called and few are chosen. You just wasn't a part of the elect from the beginning, you know, from the begin, uh, from the beginning. However, everything has to be played out, all right? Every script, every, you know, we all have our own personal scripts and that script has to, has to be played out. So like, for example, if you have a director and an uh, actor, like, and for instance, in Power and Ghost, right? A uh, 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 ghost, the end, end, end of the script for him was he was going to be killed. But there had to be a, a lead up. There had to be a reason, okay, uh, 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 for him to be killed, okay? And a lot of times, the reason why men fall out, okay, the cause, I should say, for the for the ultimate end of why men fall out is because they don't endure chastening and they don't endure which can come into in, in a form of rebuke all right and that's the thing that being rebuked rebuked and reproved is actually a part of the law you see of course this doesn't once again it's not joyous but it's something that we're supposed to do first and foremost as being priests uh and prophets okay but really just being an israelite in general you're supposed to do this if you see somebody doing something off, going off, you're supposed to rebuke them. All right. And this is the law right here. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You see that? That is the law, man. So you not hating your brother in your heart, it says going on, you're going to do what? Because if you hate somebody, you're not going to care if they go off. You're not going to try to uh, uh, show, you know, try to get them to amend their ways. You're not going to have the compassion to try to uh, uh, show them the error of, of, of their ways. And that's why it says thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Meaning if you have wisdom, if you have understanding in anything and you see your, you see your, your brother going off on something, you're supposed to use that wisdom to rebuke him. All right. So you go into the word rebuke. In the Hebrew, it's um, yaka, all right, yaka, okay, and it says what? To rebuke, decide, judge, uh, reprove, correct, be right, to show to be right, to a judge, to decide, to judge, to chasten, you see? <laughs> so, because ultimately, when you rebuke somebody according to the law, it's really the Lord, all right? It's, it's the Heavenly Father's law. So we're just we're just like uh, um, administrators, all right, of what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai says is correct. It's not what we're saying is correct. We're just really just the administrators of uh, uh, of the Lord's judgment, all right, of the Lord's uh, 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 rebuke, so to speak. Okay. So it says I go back. It says um, Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and that's talking about the Israelites. Okay. And, and not suffer sin upon him, meaning you don't you're not supposed to just let him just go off. Now, once again, the the, the balance to that is because if that was the case, every you know we every like this guy for instance, or any men, because you know I was looking back at old videos of uh, us teaching whatever, and I came across this one, 
And a lot of men <laughs> that, you know, we teach with and brothers have all the same, you know, uh, 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 examples, you know, of men that are just go to have gone off, you know, that you used to be there. You used to teach with them. You know, they used to uh, be out there. They used to, you know, bring out precepts. And you would think in that moment, you know, when you think back and you recollect, you thought in that moment, man, this brother's a strong brother, you know, X, Y, and Z, he ain't going to, you know, he's going to strive, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, what? These men fall out. All right. But when that happens, you know, what happens? You rebuke, you reprove them, you correct them, you know, in hopes that they see the error of their ways and they repent. But a lot of the, the reason is ultimately because they don't want to accept the rebuke. They don't want to accept the chastisement. Okay. And... Let's go back. Now I go back to Hebrews because the Lord said here, it says, if ye in uh, so like, yeah, yeah, verse seven, because I read verse six. Uh, it says, if ye endure chastising, the most high dealeth with you as sons. And that's the key right there. Enduring the chastisement, man. Because understand that once you once you uh, uh go off and you continue down that path, all right, that's the scripture says a uh, just man fall of seven times. But uh, uh, and, and riseth up, but the wicked falleth into mischief. You're only going to wax worse. You're only going to get worse. You see, and I keep referring to it, and this is a product of that. This is seeing a person get worse, man. Because when I first came to the truth, he was one of the first guys. You know, back in uh, 2009, 2010, he was one of the first guys that I was listening to. Okay, he was one of the first uh, 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 you know videos that I used to watch consistently. And he, and he had a lot of edification. He had a lot of knowledge. You know, he knew precepts, you know. <laughs> and you see it now. It's just like, how is that the same person? Because you fall into mischief. You get worse. Because the scripture tells you, how wish I told you about those demons that uh, uh, come back. You know, seven, you know, eight more demons hop on you. You know, stronger than the first demon that was on you. And, <laughs> and. You see, I'm sure before he came into the truth, he didn't do this. He didn't, he didn't get green hair, you know. I'm not saying I know for a fact, but I'm willing to say, you know, that before the truth, this guy wasn't like this, you know. But what happens is what? Seven more demons stronger than the first hops on you. And you just now become a complete and utter bug out worse than you were before. And that's why Howard Shai said your latter end, the latter end of him is worse than the beginning. Let me actually uh, pull that up. Um, what is that? I think that's Luke the two, Matthew the twelfth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, and this is ultimately, you know, fear of the Lord, man. This is this is you see these, like I say, the Lord uses these things for examples to fear him, man. Okay? To fear him. Um Yep. Um I just go straight to the point. It says Matthew 12, verse 45, it says, Then goeth he and taketh with, him, with himself seven other spirits more wicked than, than himself. You become more wicked. These spirits that jump on you because, look, there's only one thing that can, there's only one spirit that can keep you in the truth. All right? When you're in, and that's the Holy Spirit, okay? With Yahweh Shai supping with you through the Chakodash, the Holy Spirit. There's one spirit. That's why the scripture says there's one doctrine, one Lord, one spirit. But there's legions of spirits on the left hand side that can get on you and, 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 and cause you to do different things, man, perverse things. So there's there's one spirit on the right side, but there's legions of spirits on the left side. All right. If you understand, you know uh, what, I, what I'm saying, those legions of spirits, they hop on you and you become whatever those spirits make you become. So it says, and he taketh to himself other spirits more wicked than himself. Uh, and and there's just like there's the spirits on the right hand side of ranking order, there's spirits on the left hand side that are ranking order. Okay? You got some weaker left handed spirits, and you got some strong demons. That's why Yahweh Shai told the disciples, this type of this type of spirit you can only uh, 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 exercise, you know, or cast out by fasting and praying. You gotta come, you gotta become more elevated on the right hand side to get out certain to rebuke or to uh you know cast out certain higher spirits on the left hand side so it says and they entered in and dwelled there and the last state of that man is worse than a first you see that last state of that man is worse than a first 
Even so shall it be unto this wicked generation. And that's how you see right now with our people, man. That these demons now that are on our people, it's not like, that's why they said generation uh, Z, you know what they call it? You know, even you talk to old, older heads, you know, uh, elderly people, they, they would tell you like, oh man, they, they, we, had, we had gays, you know, we had people that were homosexuals, but it wasn't like this, you know, they were in the closet, you know? Because those demons now that, and, they, and they're basically saying that they see the shift of how more wicked this generation, you know, uh, uh, is compared to when they were growing up. And that same thing can be uh, uh, said on an individual level that you can see a person that were, before they got into the truth, while they were in the truth, they were cleansed. And then they get, for whatever reason, they they uh, are outside of the truth. Those spirits now jump on them and it's stronger demons on them, man. All right, it's stronger demons. And that's why I said the last state of this man is worse than the first. That's why it also tells you that what? It was better for a person not to even have tasted of the of the of the of the fruit all right that good fruit man okay so let's go um let's get this in the book of proverbs 19 verse 25 it says smite a scorner and the simple will will beware all right and this is what you know when brothers do videos like this you know uh uh using left-handed you know men using men on the left hand okay using men that are that are in the left-handed spirit, I should say, okay, that's a, a, a as edification. That is a form of smiting because we're not literally hitting them, but these words, as the scripture says, uh, Hebrews the fourth chapter, the 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 uh, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are sharper than any two-edged sword. So this is a form of a smite. When when you see videos of men being exposed or men getting rebuked, men being you know uh, 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 um, you know uh, uh, reproved. Okay, getting, you know, whatever, getting get on, all right, like how this this guy is, this is a form of a smite, and it's ultimately for what? For the simple to beware, all right, it's, it's, once again, it's for the edification of the body, man, because now seeing this puts a, a spirit of fear in you, okay, all right, seeing, seeing men like this are maybe like what I was doing earlier, you know, going back and seeing old videos and seeing men, all right, like for this guy, for instance, Okay, and, and like I said, there's plenty of men in this video that uh, were with us, but now they're they're not they're not they're not in the body anymore. All right, and that puts a spirit of fear in you because uh, this man, for instance, you know, who else? This guy, for instance, they're all gone, man. And it puts a sphere in you because it's like, yo, at one, like I said earlier, at one point in time, like you would have thought that these men were going to, these men were part of the, like they are, they are the elect, you know, they're, they're strong, you know what I mean? They're, they're strong brothers, but for whatever reason, you know, ultimately it comes down to uh, the chastising of the Lord, enduring, you know, bearing your cross. All right. They get, you know, they fall out and now they're in the world and they're doing their own thing. They're doing whatever. And the thing about that is, it's like, you, you, if you come across them, they, the knowledge of knowing you're an Israelite can never leave, okay? <laughs> if you know you're an Israelite, that's something that you're never going to say, well, you know what, I thought I was an Israelite, but I'm not an Israelite. No, like, you tasted of the fruit. You know what, like, if you taste a good, good tasting fruit, and you never tasted it before, you're always going to remember that tasting, you know, you're always going to remember that taste of that fruit. And that's what this truth is, man. So you always are going to have that knowledge of you knowing you're Israelite. However, your mind, all right, is gone. Okay, your 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 actions do not reflect the the fact of your of the knowledge that you that you once had. So going on, I'll read it again. It says, "Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware." So these videos, uh, uh, using these these men on the left hand side of an example, is really to edify and to beware. To make where uh, uh to make uh, um aware the simple so that they can get it so that they can fear and they can be like yo you know pray unto the lord you know ask the lord hey, and it's for us too you know <laughs> these things are for us too it's not just for you know i'm saying this but i the fear was in me as well man you know and i and i think yahweh bashim yahweh that he continues to keep that fear in me so it says in reprove 
one that have knowledge and he will under and he will understand knowledge so like you and, and reprove one that has understanding and he will understand knowledge you see he's going to the, the ones who have the understanding they're going to get it but the ones who don't they're not and that's just how the lord has it set up it's either you on a, you either you're you're chosen or you're not man and we just got to pray that hey the lord continues to keep us enduring the chastisement to keep us enduring the times that we get rebuked and reproved, all right? Because those rebukes and those reproving, those moments, even though they don't seem joyous, they're ultimately for your benefit, all right? Uh, Proverbs 9, verse um, 7, it says, He that reproveth a scorner gives, giveth to himself a shame. Yeah, because, and, and when you look at it, uh, let me finish it off, it says, And he that rebuketh a wicked man giveth himself a blot. Because when you look at it, the, the job of a prophet really is to reprove scorners in hopes that one will repent. Because we all were, you know, in the one before you get this knowledge and this truth, you we all we all were considered, you know, going off. We all were considered, you know, wicked. All right. So when we go out there and we cry loud and spare not, we know that men are good people are going to hear this word and they're going to mock us. They're going to hate us for these words. All right. They're going to, you know, uh 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 combat us that's the burden that's why when you know when you read the, the books of the prophets it start off it said the burden of malachi or the burden of uh, of isaiah because that's the burden we're we're making ourselves uh, uh um get ashamed unto them all right but into the eyes of the lord you know it, we're doing a beautiful thing but going on it says he that reproved they scorn to give to himself a shame so now for instance you're not gonna you you're not gonna find if you see a guy going off and he just left, you know, he's just all the way left, he's revolted and gone, you're not, you're, and you've seen that already, you already witnessed it, you're not going to go and try to hit up this guy like, yo, man, you know, uh, let me talk to you, let me let me try to, you know, I, I this scripture, this scripture. No, because he's already gone. He's already, his mind is already through. So only thing that's going to ha happen is he's just going to start hating you more and more, you know? You don't go and rebuke a, a person that is already has been rebuked and then and think that for for whatever reason he's at that moment is going to say you know what i love you no he's just going to hate you more and more okay that's why it says right here reprove not a scorner least he hate thee once a person is a certified gone certified you know uh uh, uh <laughs> certified reject so to speak reprove not a scorner least he hate thee he's you're only going to get more stress not stress but only thing that's going to happen is this him, that person is going to continue to hate you. That's why you see this person. This person is just being used as an example now. It's not for a reproof. You know, this 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 sit down is not for him to you know. Hey, this is towards you, Malak Shar. No, this is now for the simple to be, to beware. Okay, it's for the simple to to take heed. It's for the for the for the you know the babes that are just coming up into the truth, or and for you know us. To get reminded that's who this is for it says rebuke a wise man and he will love thee and that and that goes to show you you know when a person gets rebuked because everybody you come into the truth that's one thing you can count on man you're going to get chastisement and you're going to get rebuke it tells you that in the book of ecclesiasticus uh, uh, uh my son when thou comest to serve the lord prepare thy soul for temptation that is a hundred percent guaranteed thing that's going to happen in your life at one point, some point in time, you're going to get rebuked and chastised. Now, a wise man, he is going to do what? He is going to love you for it. He is going to say, you know what? You, you, you get rebuked. Whether you are right or you're wrong, you're going to take that because you're going to know, ultimately, that is something that the Lord is doing to do what? To, to better you, all right? He's, he's doing that to make you wiser. He's doing that to make you a, a a better servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see? And especially if you're doing if you got rebuked for doing something wrong, if you got rebuked for doing something wrong, a wise person is going to is going to is going to think that the person who was doing the rebuking, he's not going to scoff at him. He's not going to F you nigga, you ain't it, blah 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 blah, call him all type of no. Alright, because a wicked person does this. Alright, and I'll get that. Um the book of Ecclesiasticus Chapter um, 32, verse 17 says, A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. So when you see a person going off, and according to the law, 
you rebuke him, all right? We just read it, Leviticus 19, verse 17. You rebuke him. If he finds an excuse, that right there lets you know the type of person he is. That right there lets you know he's a sinful man. That right there lets you know that he is a, a cannot be a disciple of the Lord, man, okay? Because if you are getting reproved, all right, or if you reprove a person and they don't take heed to the reproof, and you're reproving them according to righteousness, right? And he just keeps finding excuses. Then that's when you what? You wipe the dust off. All right, that's how Yahweh Shah said. You know, when you go into a city and if they don't, you know, you tell them repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and they don't listen, knock the dust off your feet. They're they're through. That's why, and that's when they become through lights. You know, that's why you know that's why you know I probably named this you know this title you know uh uh, uh, uh how to how to how to not be a through light or something to that effect, okay? Because they're through. There's nothing you can do from that at that point. At that point, what? Judgment is, is, is prepared for scorners, man. It's just judgment at that point. You see? Um, it says, verse 18, a man of counsel will be considerate. And that's the thing, man. These, these men, when they get reproved and they go off, there's, there's reason why is because they're not considerate. All right? They're not considering what is being said. They're not considering why it's being said. They're not considering the spiritual aspect behind it. They're just in their feelings, butt hurt, want to get their lick back. And, and, and ultimately it's only just going to, you know, uh, be detriment to them because now I promise you going back to this guy, if you showed him a picture of this, let's say seven, eight years ago, He'll be like, yo, who the fuck photoshopped this? You know, he'll, uh, you know, he'll be like, yo, that, nah, that's, 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 nah, that's never, like, that would never be me, okay? That would never be me. You see? But it's because what? Because they don't, they're not considering, all right? They didn't consider, in the moment, the reproof. They didn't consider, in the moment, the rebuke, the chastisement. So that's, that's, that's why it says a man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is daunted is not daunted with fear even when of himself he have done without counsel okay a strange and proud man and this nigga looks strange now <laughs> all right he looks strange and a lot of uh, and he talks pridefully okay and that's another thing with a lot of thurilites they are all prideful man they all have pride and the scripture tells you that pride is hateful before the most high and man Ain't especially a, a talking about a spiritual man because these wicked niggas, even in the even in the world, niggas don't like pride. Niggas that have got pride, man, you know. But a lot, but all niggas got pride, but niggas don't like pride. Niggas don't like another person with pride, but they be pride them, pride for themselves. But in the truth, you supposed to be humble. You are supposed to have humility, okay. But a proud man, that nigga is 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 hateful, man. I was gonna say that a person in his truth hates pride. Uh, pride. Okay, and the most high hates pride because pride was not made for man, as, as the scripture also says. So, um, it's a lot here, just lost it. So, it says, hey, But a strange and proud, a proud man would not daunt, is not daunted with fear. Okay, and you go and now you start making up doctrine. You'll go and say, You can get tattoos, you can do X, Y, and Z, A, B, C. All right, speaking outside of, outside of the law, okay, being profane, which is what outside of the temple. Because you're not daunted with fear. You don't have fear anymore, man. And that's why the scriptures told you that what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All right? It's the beginning of wisdom. But once you lose the fear, you lose the what? You lose the obedience. And when you lose the obedience, you lose, you lose yourself. Okay? And once you lose yourself, you're through, man. You're through a light. Ezekiel, uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 7 verse uh, 5. It is a it is better to hear the rebuke of a of the wise than for a man to hear the songs of fools. Okay? And now this nigga, okay, this threw a light. You over here making songs now. <laughs> Yo, that shit was crazy, man. He looked like uh 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 what's that the the the, the suicide squad, man. That's what he looked like he a part of. He looked like he a part of the suicide squad. <laughs> but it says what it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise so if a wise man all right a man in his truth is he rebuking you 
It's be- it's good to hear that, man. It's better to hear that, I should say. All right? Yeah, it's going to suck when it's happening, you know? But it's 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 better to hear that because it's going to give you understanding if you if you uh take heed to it. Then to, then for a man to hear the songs of fools. And a lot of these through lights, what they do, they end up making the through light camp, all right? Through a light coalition, and they all just singing singing foolishness to each other, man. Filling themselves up with just more more foolery. Um, Proverbs 29, verse 1. He that being often reproved, harden his neck, shall suddenly, suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. There's no remedy for this guy, okay? Literally, because the scriptures tells you that what? That uh, uh, if you tasted other fruit, I, I mentioned it before, it is impossible to uh, 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 basically get, um, let me just get it because I quoted it a couple times, so I might as well just pull it up. Hebrews chapter 6, verse uh, 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted of the good word of the Most High and the powers of the world to come, all right, the gospel, if they shall fall away to renew themselves again to unto repentance. You see? That's why it says here, he shall, uh, shall suddenly be destroyed without remedy. Because the ultimate remedy is what? Repentance. Is having repentance. Is the Lord forgiving you? But if you was in this truth and you fell out, you have no remedy now. You have no place of repentance. You see? And you being often reproved and you, you just harden your neck, you're going to be destroyed, man. And now this person... This is an example of where the Lord said what? That um, fear him that can kill both uh, body and soul in hell. His soul is destroyed right now, man. It's done. A lot of these guys that fall out, their souls are destroyed. They don't know it, but that's the that's the fear of the Lord, man. That's why the scripture says the Lord is great and terrible. Saul, Saul had an evil spirit on him. He didn't know it. He didn't know he had an evil spirit on him, but guess what? His soul was destroyed. That's why he went so as so as far to doing what to uh, 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 conjuring, you know, seeking a, a, a witch, man. Even though he had put out a decree earlier to to basically kill all the witches, he put out a decree to kill all the witches. And but he got his soul got destroyed so much that he went and sought after what the 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 the, the witch of uh, of of Endor, uh, so like uh, I forgot I forgot what it was uh, Endor or something like that. But he went and sought after her. And what did she say before she knew it was Saul? Like, you know, uh, wait, you know, Saul basically uh, uh, just killed all the witches or, or casted out all the witches, you know, the ones that have familiar spirits. Good, but but he got to the point where his soul was so destroyed that he went and sought after a witch, man. And he knew the law. All right. He knew what the law was. First Timothy chapter five, verse 20, it says, them that sin rebuke before all that others also may fear. This goes back into what? Smite a scorner in the simple show uh, will beware. So, yeah, when somebody's at sin, somebody that go off. OK, if it's not like of a personal matter, you know, pursuant to uh, uh, Matthews, the 18th chapter, you know, somebody that transgressed against you personally. That's something you're supposed to, you know, keep to yourself. But somebody that, you know, and if you can be reconciled with that brother, if he rep if you rebuke him and he repents, then what? You have gained a brother. But somebody that sins like this. You got to rebuke before all, man, so that others will what? Fear. Fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Fear the terror of the Lord. Fear going off. This keeps you in line, man. You know? Seeing men that are strong, like I said, the mark the perfect man, that keeps you in line. You know, say, oh, man, they, they, they're they striving. They keep going out. You know, that gives you a boost, <laughs> okay, on the right-hand side. But this example on the left-hand side, this keeps you in line also. You gain it from both ways. This is the fear, man. This is the fear. On the right hand side is the love. On the left hand side, when you see stuff like this, the examples, that's the fear that you do not want to be this person. On the right hand side, you want to be like this person. You know, you want to not be like him, you know, literally, but you know, once again, you mark him. You would hey, that's a that's an honorable person, you know, that's a good example. Now, this on the left hand side, hey, that's a good example of not to be like, man. Because as the scripture says, uh uh um, uh, everything for edification, man. Everything is for edification of the of the body. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastes nineteen verse uh, seventeen says, "Admonish thy neighbor 
before thou threaten, so like it, uh, verse uh, 13, I want to get 13. It says, admonish a friend that it may be that he have not done it. So there'll be things that you get cursed out for, you get rebuked for, and you ain't even do. But it says, and if he have done it, that he do it no more. And that's where you get the wisdom from. That's where you have to be able to see past the, past the rebuke that is happening and say, you know what? I can just use this, you know, for the future. All right. It says, admonish thy friend that he have, uh, it may be that he have not said it. And if he have, that he speak it not again. So if he might have not said it, but you take the rebuke and hey, boom, you know, I, I, I know not, to, I know not what to do. Now, if you did do it, you know, not what, you know, don't do it again. You see, that's the mindset of a person that, that is a wise person, man. You're always, because the scripture says, to the pure, all things are pure. All right? To the holy, all things are holy. Even, even rebuke that you don't, might not justly deserve at that moment, understand that the Lord is perfect. So you get rebuked on something you might not, might not have done, but it could be for something that you've done before that you, you got away with, that nobody really didn't know. You see? The Lord is not, the Lord don't skip a beat, man. The Lord is perfect in all his ways. All his judgments are righteous. Okay? This, uh, um, keep going down, uh, where is it at? Oh, verse 22, this is why I want. it says, The knowledge of, a wicked, of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. So you don't go to a guy like this and go on his page and, yeah, brother, yeah, and, you know, cause he, he does a lot of shit talking. Okay, a lot of these other guys that fall out, they end up doing bugged out videos, okay? All right, and then you go to their videos, then they're not even, they don't even have any, you know, their last video they did was three years ago, all right, <laughs> uh, two years ago. All of their old videos that they did that were that were to edification, they deleted all those things. As the scripture says, you know, uh, the, the uh, dog vomiting, you know, you basically you vomited up everything that you learned, but you don't go to that person's page and to get edification, they're not doing nothing, all right? They're not doing nothing, man. Read that again. It says the knowledge of, of, of the wickedness is not wisdom. So they're going to say words. They might say the name of the Lord. They might start off, Shalom, want to give all praises, you know, about, you know, X, Y, and Z. All right. But then their knowledge, what they're saying is just completely off. Because this guy was talking about getting you able to get tattoos. <laughs> completely, utterly off, man. All right. And uh, in it here, man, with Yahweh Shai, Revelation 3, 3, verse 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chastise, chasten it. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. All right. So the Lord, he's going to rebuke you. He's going to chastise you if he if he loves you. That's why Esau, Edom, ain't, the Lord don't love him because Esau ain't getting rebuked. He's not getting chastised. He's just going off and continually going off and not nothing happening to him. But that's what the Lord is going to save all that just for the destruction. You see? But Yahweh Shah said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. Why? Because the rebuke and the reproof and the chastisement is for your amendment. It's for you to be better. All right? It's for you to gain knowledge and to be wiser. That's why you have to understand. And that's going to be a burden, but that's a part of the cross that you got to bear. Okay? That's a part of the cross is enduring the chastisement, enduring the rebuke. Because if not, if you do not endure it, you become a through a light. And this is the product of a through a light so you know with that lord willing to find unto the elect giving all praises honor and glory to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rachah kodash till next time shalom